Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode I want to talk about how to charge your homes and you can apply the same logic on how to charge your electric scooter when you are outside uh, home. Uh, the main reason why I want to do that is because recently on the internet and YouTube are coming out videos that try to push of a solution that it's DIY so I'm not sure how safe it could be, no certification related to that. It's way more expensive than a certified one that you can purchase on Amazon. So I felt like, uh, well, don't waste your money there. Have a look at what I have to show you. So if you live here in Japan or in US where the electricity is at 120 volt, under 10 volt or 100 volt, well, you need a charger uh, that uh, is uh, built for that voltage. Especially if you consider that uh, we have changed the battery of our combs. So we are not using the standard uh, uh, lead acid that were here before but we're using uh, the uh, lithium so what i have done i bought a charger that works for 100 volt uh, it is uh, uh, configured for a 20s battery so the 72 volt nominal and that uh, uh, the uh, two uh, extremity of the cable it has one plug for the japanese or the u.s market that is the same and on the other one as uh, an anderson connector in this specific case uh, this is the one i made this extension only because uh, i can charge two batteries at the same time as you remember for the modification that i have done on the battery on the back this is a solution that it's good that you can do at home uh, without problems because every house is at uh, 100 volt so it's a recommended one because uh, you don't need to use the one that is inside the car that is done for a different chemical of the battery so you can do once if uh, it's really no other solution, but uh, uh, on the long term you risk to ruin the batteries, so don't do that. On the same logic, if you are lucky enough to have a 200 volt plug uh, in your house, well, you can use the same product, but that is uh, uh, set up for 200 volt AC. So no more 100 volt, 200 volt AC is still providing the uh, current 84 volt, so 72 nominal, and as the same plug. This specific case, I didn't attach the extension to remove the uh, half, but the logic is exactly the same. And keep this one in mind because we will use again later on. So stay tuned. Another solution to charge your car, and this can be extended honestly to a bigger EV car as well, is to use one of these brick here that are actually made for a specific 200 volt uh, plug and that uh, on the other hand, instead of the Anderson connector, as every normal EV car on the market, it has this plug here. This shape, uh, uh, I think it's called uh, J1775-76. I will put down uh, in the video later on uh, to give you the exact uh, name. But uh, we are talking about comms now and uh, we are talking about uh, EV scooter where usually this is not installed. So that's when we come up 
to the solution that I have already talked about here in the channel, but uh, I want to reassess it because again, I saw, unfortunately, some DIY solution that, uh, again, are more expensive, they're not certified, so I don't feel they're safe, definitely. What I'm talking about? Well, something like this. So practically, this is uh, uh, the plug that is used on a Nissan uh, car, okay? And uh, what people do is to remove the cables that are not necessary and then just attack here, attach here uh, a plug that uh, a female one that allows you to practically attach one of these charger that I've shown you before exactly the one with 200 volt um, and uh, well again I feel it's not really safe so I search on the internet and uh, ta-da I found this and this one is actually exactly what I have attached here on uh, my back this one that uh, is is a certified one of course it's the same port and had the good point that inside there is a microchip that practically will uh, make the plug from the uh, charging column that has the shape here to uh, understand that there is a car connected because in fact if uh, it's just something like that and you don't do your DIY stuff doesn't matter how many times you try to plug in it doesn't work and that's because uh, you need to trigger the uh, port uh, to understand that uh, actually there is a battery. It, it's a safety um, things practically. And the good point of this uh, is that has already really well done, uh, no DIY solution, at this port here that uh, can ha ha have both the 200 type of plug as well as the uh, standard 100 but pay attention if you are connecting this with uh, uh, a charging column never never attach a 100 volt AC charger here because you will blow it out so on the internet if you buy your uh, DIY stuff, it can go from 20,000 yen to, I saw unfortunately on your auction, 30,000 plus for a DIY solution. Yes. This one, the last time I checked on Amazon, and I will leave in the description down below the link, 13,000 yen. Look, it's, uh, it's really a well well done item and uh, why i say it's good even for uh, uh, an electric scooter because if you have your charger that works 200 240 volt range you attach here attach to your ev scooter and attach this one to a normal charging column and while well, you are ready to charge your battery almost everywhere that's good almost everywhere so it's a definitely a great solution so this is the cable that is coming again from the uh, plug that i have installed inside the car and this is the plug from this charger and you simply do that nothing more it's extremely easy and the other side of the charger with the Anderson connector you are going to attach to your battery and you're ready to go 
this specific model I bought on uh, um, AliExpress and allows you to actually change the amperage so you can decide if you want to speed up your charge or if you want to go um, slow as you can in order to practically save the uh, health of uh, uh, of the battery whenever you are finished you can then unplug and you are ready and safe so for demonstration purpose let's suppose this uh, uh, the port is actually connected to my charger as well as this one instead of being the brick that i just shown before is the port of the charging column as you see of course the two are matching male female and uh, they are secure and let you charge your car safely again don't go with diy you can even save money it's not the time that you say oh if i do diy i can even save money versus buying one no the this is cheaper and has the uh controls running on it then the diy doesn't have so don't be fool don't waste your money go with a solution like this and don't be worried of thinking oh does it work uh, if i use it at eon does it work if i use it at nitori does it work if i use ikea these are just some names of the stores here the shopping mall here in japan but they are exactly the same whichever walmart you want to say that's exactly the same doesn't change the important thing is that the type of charge the type of port sorry is the same okay so don't waste uh, your time saying oh i will try there oh i will try here it's the same electricity is exactly the same the port is exactly the same and your car will charge exactly the same system wise the charging column can change and with that i mean is one provider versus another so probably you need one car versus another but that's all so don't worry you can use it everywhere well that's all for me for today hope that this video helped to save your money buy something safer buy something that is certified and well enjoy your car enjoy your ev scooter in a way that uh, uh, we can try to avoid uh, the pain that we have uh, because uh, we are always worried that uh, the battery is depleting and we don't have a place to charge so we are not near home we cannot charge it you have a solution here what you can do sometimes in, on aliexpress they sell this uh, uh, ac adapter the charger that have an extended range so they work both with 100 volt up to 240 volt and that means with one only charger you are covered if you are at home and i'm talking about uh, in japan here or in the us or in other places where the electricity voltage is 100 volt as well as uh, if you're using one of the uh, charging column around the city guys that's all for me for today thank you for watching hope it helped if you have any question let me know in the description down in the comments down below happy to help it solve it if you have any question in japanese also please write it down i will help you with that as well and uh well till next time try safe and be charged bye